Dude, 78 years old? He's 78. He looks like he's he looks five like, years older than me. Yeah, it's crazy. He, he looks better than us. Yeah, Man. it's crazy. Truly. What? Guy's almost 80 years old. And he's kind of a grumpy dude. Always complaining about his part in Ghostbusters. He had a, he had a meteor one this time. That's good. Like. They, good. Good for him. We're back. We're or not. We were never here, and we're back. We're always here. <laughs> we're still here. All right. All right. I All think right. officially we are here. Let us know in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Uh, uh, I should have known. I should have uh, not tried to use a new board for the first time on the first episode. I thought it was going to be so good. I thought you guys were going to love it. <laughs> they might still, they'll still love it. They're still going to love it. There's it's just a little late, baby. We just had a half hour of intense, hilarious conversation. Oh. That it's gone forever. Yeah. I don't even remember what the fuck we talked about. Talking about Easter. Ugh. Talking Vegan about ice cream. Ice cream. Talking about being a big fat guy because I ate so much Captain Crunch and ice cream. And ham and twice baked potatoes, <laughs> and candy, and cake. You know, yeah. Well, a nice light Easter. You know, yeah. It was nice. I said my Easter was my favorite meal, and you guys scoffed. But then I mentioned twice baked potatoes, and you guys were like, "Maybe you're right." Mm. I had a twice baked potato on Easter. Well, there you go. At Prairie Meadows. How was it? Fantastic. Is that a buffet b- open yet? No, they're done. They're not. What a bunch of horse shit! <laughs> that was the buffet. It I was the best buffet. buffet around, dude. It was like a football field yeah. worth of amazing food. Yeah, it was. It was. Was it brunch nice. only type of buffet? No, no, it was. They it would was do it for special dinner. events, and and they they would do like a Mother's Day one or Easter. They so they do it for special events, and but they had it other times. As well, well, it used so. to be just like a, a rest, like yeah. you could go eat there. Yeah. I did. Multi- I didn't know that for. And then oh. em, my friend yeah. Emmett introduced. Yeah, I remember that to stories me. of you and Emmett. Emmett loves a fucking. He does. Buffet, doesn't he? He does. <laughs> yep. You two ever get over to uh, Hibachi? Oh yeah, many yeah, times. As you should. Many times. That's where. Uh, that's where I like to go for a good time. Yeah. Oh, Hibachi. buddy. It's cool. Then you get to be the minority at the restaurant for <laughs> for once, which is pretty cool. <laughs> It is so your time as a minority. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're like you know, it's got to be decent. Pretty. There's a bunch of Chinese people eating at the Chinese buffet. You say, hey, all right, Chinese people, and Mexican people, and like eight super fat white people, yeah. and me and AJ <laughs> in that group so of eight. So ten super <laughs> fat. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> I always love the additional stuff that's at the uh, buffet. Where it'll be like mozzarella sticks for no reason. Yeah, or yeah. Something. They gotta have stuff for the kids. You a know? giant mm-hmm. vat of chocolate pudding. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm. Amazing. Mm-mm-mm. I'm glad they started putting. They now they serve ice cream in individual cups, where it used to be like Sur- self serve. It used to be self serve. Like any kid could just stick their arm in there with the scoop, and I was like, I ain't eating that ice cream. <laughs> but now that it's in like individual cups, I'm like, I'll eat this ice cream. Yeah. The but I'm not gonna cups. fucking like. I can't believe they were yeah. letting people serve their own ice cream with scoops <laughs> that you had to dig idea. down in there with. I was like, bro. Yeah, people this getting their knuckles all in the ice yeah. cream as yeah. they're scooping it out. This all you can eat fifteen dollar buffet is not sanitary. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not bad though. I mean, that no, it's yeah. good. I am. I'm not. Compl- I like yeah. the hibachi grill. I that like ice cream does sound a little suspect, though. It's hey, now it's in individual cups, buddy. Have as many as you want. Up. Yeah, <laughs> I think yeah. yeah, there had to be some kind of. I was like, I can't, I couldn't believe it because normally, like a lot of places would have a soft serve machine, which yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Or kids would make a, put their cone and then make an eighteen-inch long ice cream cone that immediately falls over. Exactly, and then start yes. on another one, and then it falls over. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. Did you ever think about doing milkshakes over at Black Cat? Absolutely not. Nice. Ooh, you shut me right Yeah, there. wow. You, know? <laughs> so you have to have a machine. Fuck milkshakes. <laughs> a <laughs> machine that is complicated, that breaks down a lot, and is very difficult to clean. Yeah. And then someone wants a milk. So for three extra dollars or whatever, you got to make a milkshake for them and stop everything. And right. What Absolutely. if you just got one of those standing blenders? Like a ninja chop that you just kind of throw it in. <laughs> no. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Magic bullet. No, people come in, though, and they'll, they'll ask for a malt. Do you have any malts? No. Do you have shakes? 
No. And then they get very mad and leave. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> We don't. We don't do that. We will That's never do weird. that. We don't need to do that. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Go to McDonald's and they'll tell you their ma- their machine is broken and then go home. Perfect. Perfect. So it seems like they might not be lying the entire time about the machine broken. I remember the McFlurry machine would be down a fair amount when I was working. Oh there. Jesus Christ! All right, sitting back down. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you wore your <laughs> couch-colored uh, hoodie again. <laughs> yes. Well, I was playing, you yeah. know, when yep. I got here. My yeah, it is funny that my generic green and yellow Iowa hoodie <laughs> from Walgreens. They got the best hoodies, baby. You're not cheering on any specific state. You're cheering on the team yeah. or yeah. The, the the state, state itself, not, not a team. You're like, I'm here for three things: cat food, <laughs> liquor, and this switch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and cigarettes. Get out of my fucking way. What did I? Oh, there it is. Where, you, where <laughs> are you headed? No, where I was just looking for something. Yeah. Boy, can you guys believe the role we were on before everything fell apart? Unfortunately, it didn't even get started to fall apart. Yeah. We, we face planted at the starting line. <laughs> 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 yeah. And I love that the test stream essentially went perfect. Like, I mean, yeah. It, couldn't, it yeah. couldn't have went better. I mean, I guess we could have been funnier, but we always can't be. But uh, um, this time, Wow. I got it all wrong, boys, and I apologize. That's all right. Hey, it's number two, baby. No, well, is, technically, yeah. number one. It's number one. So The fact that it works at all is nothing short of a miracle. Yeah. We're going to be like one of those boxers that gets knocked out the first ten fights, but then he comes back to win the title. Yep, with brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> Complete <laughs> chock yeah. full of CT. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. All I need is a miracle. And then they're going to name a grilling ap- appliance after us some <laughs> <laughs> George Foreman, I think, is doing all right. Toll McGrain toaster, gr- toaster oven. Yep. <laughs> the toaster. The toaster. <laughs> Brand new space age technology mm. in a toaster oven. Yeah. Yep. Doubles as a fleshlight sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just throw a watermelon melon in there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and you're good to go. <laughs> Have you tried any of those fruit ones where they're like, oh, you take a grapefruit and you heat it I up? I never for a have while? done that. I've, I've had yeah, sex. Having either. sex with fruit? Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I skipped that whole part. I had right. sex with pillows. And oh, yeah, that's right. And leopards. And stuffed animals. And a leopard. Yeah. <laughs> just, just saying. There was condoms yeah. involved. <laughs> it was protected. It was, it was safe. Mm. Yes. <laughs> it's so much grosser to say on video. <laughs> 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 we can How see that. Was we, can, it again? we can see those words coming out of your mouth, right? No, now. I know. Was it sort of leopard size or a little smaller? No, no. It was like it was like a full size, full size sexy leopard. Yeah, like some the cheapest one you can get, <laughs> full of the little beads, Ooh. the little styrofoam beads. Hence the condom. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to get one of those in your yeah. pee hole. I hope my niece is watching. Hey, Ellie, how's it going? <laughs> She's like, I still sleep with that. <laughs> She's never been told. <laughs> uh, that thing is probably disintegrated in the attic somewhere uh, of my mom's house. I can't imagine it is still held that together. That was some good eating for some rats and moths yep. for a while. Oh, like, ooh, it was well loved. <laughs> yes, it was. Mm, loved. Yes, it was. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh we talked earlier about doing things special for Easter. I did have a, a few little special things for you. I thought it'd be kind of nice. Uh, oh, hell yeah. Who put on these little uh, uh, bunny ears? Because I have in this uh, little bucket here. Oh. I have a. Uh, I'd like you to choose a little Easter egg. In my family, we would oh. go on Easter egg hunts. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Of so this is a little no-sleep Easter egg I hunt. I choose, choose, choose that one. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at these little cute guys. I like yes. these eggs. Thank you. Oh, man. So inside Animal the Easter theme. egg is some Jolly Rancher jelly beans. That's some incentive. And then there's also a piece of paper with a prompt on it. Oh. oh. Yes. So I think um, you can eat the jelly beans first. I don't want to make you wait on those, but... Mm. Oh, that flavor was delicious. On the, on the time what kind are they? <laughs> uh, Jolly Rancher jelly beans. Ooh, fantastic. Yes. Straight from the Dollar Tree. Fuck, Mary kill Mortal Kombat characters. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, 
Chun Li is she Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter? That's Street Fighter. <laughs> Shit. Who's the Who's Miss Thighs in Mortal Kombat? Well, who's the the white lady with the blonde hair and the hat? Anybody Raiden. Read? Hmm. <laughs> Sonya. Is oh, the Sonya. Yeah, yeah. Sonya. Yeah. Yeah. I probably fuck her, marry Baraka, and kill Raiden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's about time the old white yeah. man lost. <laughs> you know? uh, I just liked Baraka, and he had blades that came out of his arms. Yeah, he was always uh, my go-to. But he, he was in the newest movie too. Wasn't yeah, I he? think so. Yeah, yeah I liked Baraka, Good. and I'd kill Raiden. What was your prompt, Alex, from the Easter Bunny? Um. <laughs> What was your first joke that worked? Recite it. Ooh. Yeah. He has to go a few years in for that. <laughs> <laughs> Got to go back to about 2019 for that. <laughs> Good one. Um, you don't have that moment in your head of that I remember first having joke that a, killed? I remember having a, my first like bit. I don't, I mean, yeah, it's a, it was a bit. And it was like within a couple of months of me starting, it was the first time I'm like, oh yeah, this, like I, had, I got a really good reaction. And people told me after the fact, like that was funny. And it was, I, this was when, so when I started comedy, this is the same time that uh, Domino's was doing that ad campaign where they were like, hey guys, sorry our pizza sucked, but we're gonna redo the oh, whole yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're going to make good pizza. And they kind of made fun of themselves and all that. And so yeah. I did a joke on that about pizza. I don't even remember it. I can't recite it. We also. But it got a huge I reaction. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Oh. It's kind of my first like ranty kind of joke. I we think. also okay. missed during the blackout part of the podcast. Alex said he <laughs> used to order six pizzas from Domino's on the way home from a bar in Ames. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when it was closing time at yeah. the bar. <laughs> and I was very hungry. And I knew I had to walk like six blocks I walk like a, like a mile, half a mile, a mile, uh, and then h take a take a right down the street uh, to m my apartment where I live. But on that corner was uh, Domino's Pizza. So like half an hour before bar closed, I would call Domino's, order a whole bunch of pizzas, say I was going to pick them up, and then they'd be waiting for me in the dumpster. <laughs> Forty five minutes, an hour later, Perfect. I'd scoop them up, take them home. <laughs> Have a good old time. W would it be something that you'd sort of wait, like in the shadows with a trench coat on, to see them throw them in the no, no? The dumpster? I, I, just, well, I knew where the dumpster was. I walked right to it. You just knew right about that time they, because so many times before that, I wouldn't even order them. They'd just be there. Like they, people, they throw tons of pizzas away. Wow, untouched. And like a Pretty raccoon, cool. you <laughs> I'd, I'd elbow a raccoon, karate <laughs> chop a fucking possum, take those pizzas home. Hell Living yeah! Living large, right? Unstoppable. Honey, Wait, were you dinner. getting multiple toppings or just several one-topping pizzas? I don't think I pushed it too hard. Yeah. I'd be like, seven pepperoni pizzas, <laughs> yeah. one sausage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You're not that guy who keeps calling and then not picking up the pizzas, are you? <laughs> what? Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you crack who, the, me? You like crack the back door. You don't find them in the dumpster. Hey, did uh, guys, somebody order six pizzas and forget them? Just checking, you guys. <laughs> just checking. Just checking. <laughs> Uh, those are very flavorful jelly beans. Did you like the jelly beans? I did. Would it's you like good. to? Uh, there's some. Oh boy, there's some repeats in here. I think. But if you want to try another one, see if you get oh, another little see. prompt. Well, I got a little giraffe this Ooh. time. Yeah, a little Easter egg hunt. I always really enjoyed Easter egg hunts. My mom would put. Oh yeah. Um, she put candy in some, nothing in some, and then oh. quarters in some. Oh, we used quarters real eggs. The oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. What'd you say? We used real eggs. Yeah, I I can remember as a kid it was real eggs, and then finally the plastic eggs eggs came into vogue. But I remember before it was just like we used regular real, ass dyed eggs. Yeah, and then we would dye them all the night before, and then the Easter Bunny would hide them, and we'd always like not find one. And one year I found an egg in my work boots, like two three years later. <laughs> Which Delicious. is crazy. Yeah. But like you've been wearing the boot the whole time? No, no. I hadn't, I hadn't worn the boots forever. And this actually shows, I guess Ellie was young, so it made sense. But yeah, I had. I finally was like, oh, I need these boots for work that I haven't worn in a super long time. And I, you know, I'm like, oh, shit, there's a fucking 
old ass egg in here. <laughs> There's an egg in my. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it smells so bad, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Just picture him with a hard boiled egg like in his shoe, just stomping it around like a Shoals pad all day. <laughs> I didn't realize. It smells slightly that. worse than usual. Mm. <laughs> Hey, I got. I started. Uh, I bought some odor eaters. I'm gonna see how those work out for me. You judgmental sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much odor can those odor eaters <laughs> eat? <laughs> All you can eat. Yeah, do you I smell them right hungry. now? No. There you go. I don't smell them. I'm saying they're doing something. Favorite line from a movie? Recite it. Ooh, the Easter Bunny's so demanding. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, from the classic. Anaconda. Snake down there this big? <laughs> <laughs> that was Ice Cube yep. from uh, Anaconda. You're welcome. Nailed it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Did you get the same egg again? I Al- did. Oh, boy. What's your favorite line from a movie? Recite it. Good luck. It is funny under pressure. That's hard to think of. Yeah, I wanted to test you a little. Test your enhance skills. <laughs> enhance. Rotate. Enhance. I think a stupid, Super stupid thing to say. Uh, yeah. This is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass. This is what happens. What's that from? That sounds Lebowski. Weird. Well, that's the podcast, everybody. <laughs> See you later. Uh, um, I was going to say, this is random, but uh, on Friday, I was working, and my niece texted me, and she was like, hey, you like Miley Cyrus, right? I was like, sure, I like Miley Cyrus. She's like, And then she sent me a song that was Beyonce singing with Miley Cyrus. On Friday afternoon, I was out delivering beer, Sobbing in my van. <laughs> Ridiculous. You a Cowboy Carter fan? I I guess so, dude. What was, what was the name of the song? Uh, Toll Sucks Dick. Uh, oh, two, <laughs> mo- two Most Wanted. Yeah, it was, it was Toll's Gay. Toll's Gay now. <laughs> yeah, Two Most Wanted. It was fucking, it was like being your ride. Two Most Wanted and you were sobbing at that it song? It was great. I, I It was a good song, dude. Damn. When you hear it, I don't know. Because it was about like you'll be, I'll be your shotgun forever or whatever. Yeah, it was. It's pretty good, oh. and it got me. And then every and I sent it to Sarah, and she, well, she's pregnant, but she was like, "I'm crying too." And of I course, was like, yeah, of course you are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I was like, "Huh, it was good." I dug it. I thought I would share that with you guys because you would think it was odd. That is odd. Now I'm going to listen to that song, and yeah. I, I, yeah. I know I haven't I, heard a lick of I'll it. I'll listen yet. to it and be like, "Toll's fucking is toll, stupid." Uh, <laughs> You won't. You will yeah. like it. Like, no, instead, Alex cries. Yeah. yeah. Uncontrolled. Uh, I mean, I got. I got. I'm notoriously juicy eyed. I guess, but yeah, it got me good. I will say, <laughs> it was about your ride or die, riding shotgun forever, smoking weed on the 405. Shit. I fucking dug it. And this is Beyonce and Miley. Yeah, it's from Beyonce. It sounds like album. a Nate Dogg song, actually. It was good, man. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I like it a lot. I was listening it, listening to it today at work. Just that song or the whole album? Just that song. Over and before, over. I listened to it a couple times before I put on the podcasts. Huh. So, or, All right. Yep. Well, what podcast did you listen to? Today, I listened to uh, Mark Marin talking to the David Crumholtz. Oh. Uh, that was interesting. No idea. Who's that? He's a Jewish guy that's in everything. He was in uh, 10 Things I Hate About You, if I remember He's correctly. Dewey Cox's agent. Got it. Yeah. Thank there you. you. He's an Oppenheimer mm-hmm. also. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he's been in what, everything. What, what, he's the elf from the Santa Claus. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> been around. Adam's Family Values. He was a child actor, yep. too. Hmm. I love that guy. He's great in everything. He is a good actor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Always like a little bit part. Yeah, always very Jewish. No, I is saw it him in 10 Things I Hate About You? That's I like the friend know. of Joseph Gordon-Levitt? I think that's very right. Very highly possible. I think that's right. Because there's one other guy that's kind of like David Crumholz that I get him confused with yeah. sometimes. But um, yeah, shout out David Crumholz. Yep. I'm sure he's watching. I'm, sure, I'm sure he's watching mm-hmm. live right now. Oh, I was going to give another shout out today 
Ooh. I said it before on the on the old on the old version of the podcast, but mm. goddamn, I was tired as hell today. Like I quit drinking and now I'm tired, kind sure. of tired. And uh, I got I was about to crash my van, and I was like, I better get, I better stop. I, I'm not saying where I were. I wasn't about to crash my van, but I was, you know, hallucinating at the wheel from tiredness. Just kidding. <laughs> but I did stop, and I got a five hour energy. And if our if this podcast ever gets big, uh, they should sponsor us because they have saved my life <laughs> and other people's <laughs> lives multiple yeah. times. You'd be a good five hour energy for it. Yeah. For real, dude, you, then you have anxiety, but you're awake, which is much better than the alternative. Having anxiety. But having a sweet dead. dream. <laughs> no, yeah. Having a, your dead. Having dying. Dying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Being like, oh, Flying man. off the road. Yeah. yeah. Having a death nightmare. Yeah. Mm. So, shout out, Five Hour Energy, saving the day once again. Why five hours? I don't know. That's just the name. I guess that's what they decided. It Six lasted. is too much. Four isn't enough. I don't know. Yeah. It is kind of interesting. It, but it does. It's like, yeah, I do kind of have anxiety now, but I'm not going to die behind the wheel. So that's nice. Just going to be thinking about dying behind the wheel. The yeah, whole time. a little. <laughs> just kind of like, uh, I wish I could get out of this fucking van, you know? <laughs> <laughs> then you hook the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every time I get behind the wheel. I want to turn into a goddamn bridge embankment. <laughs> <laughs> Fix your hair. Uh, all right. See, I like those lines too. Yeah, there you go. I quote could quote it. the entirety of Tommy Boy. Would you like me to do that? D plus. <laughs> I got a D plus. I'm going to graduate. <laughs> they give out a lot fewer D pluses than D minuses. <laughs> 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 Beep boop beep. Yeah. Do you guys see they're gonna they're making computer chips out of honey? Have you heard about that? Because it mimics neurons like in our brains. Talk about. Yeah, I thought I heard that on NPR. I was like, that's interesting. Honey? Yeah, because it doesn't. It there's like zero moisture, so it doesn't grow any bacteria. Mm. It never goes bad, and it can mimic somehow the, like the substance in our brains. I guess I was just. They were talking about it on NPR a while back, and I was reading about it today. I was like, this is fucking crazy, bro. Was this study written by a bear? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> He's good for everything. Mm -hmm. uh, remember when we had a lot to talk about before when we were podcasting oh. and it was blacked out? Yeah, I think it like <laughs> fucked up our mojo, the whole... Uh, Stopping and starting like three times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I have some stuff. I, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, it is officially my birthday month as of today, April 1st. Hey, um, happy birthday month. Are you month. a birthday month person? No, but uh, I do want to be acknowledged right now. That's fine. I acknowledge that. me. Witness I acknowledge me, brother. You. <laughs> <laughs> Valhalla <laughs> for all <Yes. laughs> But uh You are awaited in Valhalla. Uh, this first day uh, of April was a very quintessential April here in Des Moines. Very uh, misty, uh, rainy. Crappy. Th crappy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just the way I like it and remember it. And days like this always remind me of when we, f me and my family first moved to Iowa and I would go to the movie theater and the library by myself all the time. I went and saw Jurassic Park 3 by myself. Wow. Catch How me old were you? Can. I would have been... Four? Five? <laughs> like 12 years old? <laughs> I would have guessed. 12 years old, going to movies by yourself. Yeah, I remember wow. walking, because my older brother used to work at the movie theater. Okay. Uh, the Boone Theater. It changed hands quite a few times, but... Um, I guess, is that, did you go to movies by yourself? <laughs> like, fr from age seven on. I was going to, I think yeah. that might be more of a small town it is. deal. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I would have been, it would have been cool for me to go. To walk up there. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, you know, especially that time, uh yeah, it felt safe, yeah. you know. Uh, but I did walk out of Catch Me If You Can being like, I'm ready to forge some checks. My Hell mom. yeah. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah, because it was just me and like maybe two other weirdos in the theater, just like matinee time during the day. Right. I think a story came out recently that said that, that story Frank is Abagnale's fully story inaccurate. is all bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Bullshit. completely bullshit. Yeah. bullshit. Oh, yeah. man. I mean, he yeah. must have counterfeited some of it in order to be in trouble. There, there has to have been some. Well, I mean, sort of clearly he's an excellent 
at cons because he conned Steven Spielberg into yeah. making a movie about right. him. <laughs> and everyone else into believing this story. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell some of it was like a little bullshit maybe when you would hear, just like watch the interviews because I think he went on Letterman and a few other places. Yeah. yeah. You could tell maybe he was fibbing a little because it's much more believable that Leo in Catch Me If You Can could uh, bang uh, the lady who was married to Ben Affleck. Jennifer Lopez? No. No, uh, Jennifer Garner. Garner, yeah, she was in it. <laughs> and she was like the this bombshell beauty. And, and then he. I don't he, even remember her. He in fucks it. her. Uh, yeah. Because he I cuts her remember. a check for like 600 bucks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Right. But then you yeah. see the real Frank Abagnale, and he looks a little bit more like, like me. Or yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah, this guy. Nah. Yeah, Leo can pull all sorts yeah. of scams off because no when one. When you're that handsome. You know. If you're a regular slob, you know. I never, up until recently, I think old man Leo was handsome. I, de- I always, I, young Leo, he looked young until like four years ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. It was like he looks like a boy, but that's what girls are into, I, I guess. Ca- I saw a chunk of Catch <laughs> Me If You Can within the last few days. I caught like five minutes of it on TV, and I'm like, man, Tom Hanks and Leo are young in this. Like, yeah. this was a while ago. And he was young Leo, and that was like the end of young Leo was there. Yeah. Gangs of New York, maybe. Yeah. That's uh, watching um, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Like, Larry David is an elderly man now. And when you see the ones from like 20 years ago, you're like, oh, shit. He, he looked is. the same. He had the same hair. Yeah, but he looks. But now you see his face. Yeah. You're like, oh, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're old. It's now. pretty crazy. <laughs> but I mean, I guess that's what it's like. Happens. Steve Martin like People. has had white hair since I was, since 1986. Yeah. Since 1984, probably. So he's always looked the same. And even before yeah, it was white, yeah, it was dark gray. You yeah, know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So he's always looked basically the same. Yeah. But now you're like, oh, now you're you're an old man now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oops. Yikes. Yep. I think about that sometimes of, like, if, yeah, I mean, the young me that went to see Catch Me If You Can by myself, if he could see me now, he'd be like, Wow. You're a fucking mess, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I think he would be a little disappointed, hmm. like looks wise, and how I turned out. I don't know. Maybe just the hair. Yeah, know? I think that would be a huge shock. Yeah, to me. yeah. Young me would be like, "Damn, dog, you weren't as fat as I thought you'd be, and you look great." <laughs> but you need to do something about that tooth, though. <laughs> <laughs> what about that tooth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We didn't Otherwise. move the cameras that close. I don't think you can even notice. The no, tooth. I don't think people. The people don't really notice unless I mention it. Comment. And let us notice. Let us know if you notice the tooth. Take a good look. Or lack thereof, tooth. <laughs> you can't <laughs> handle the tooth. <laughs> uh, you two are familiar with Wer- uh, uh, Werner Herzog. Yes. Um, have you watched his documentary "Cave of Forgotten Dreams"? I have not. I would highly recommend. This it. is a cave of forgotten dreams. I can't. For that, they are forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, it's me, Vanna uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For that reason alone, just watching him <laughs> and the way he talks, because the way he, it's a mixture of that accent and then just his general demeanor makes you feel like. You told him the cave didn't exist. Right. Where he's right. like, oh, oof. You told me the cave doesn't exist. <laughs> Van a Hussong. Yeah. That's cave right, right over here. Van a Hussong. <laughs> okay, dude. Uh, yeah, you kind of expected them to slowly pan out of the cave. And then it was actually Werner with his uh, cheeks spread, and it was just inside of his ass. <laughs> the cave of uh, forbidden uh, dreams. I tricked you. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Uh, this cave strippy. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you should watch it. It's uh, is it recent? Is it old? I would say in the last ten years. Um, hmm. But listening to Werner, like condescendingly, and is he German? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Very. Very Germanically, uh, tell you you're dumb for not knowing about the uh, perfect pentatonic flute that he found in that right. cave that proves that I guess we were smarter than we thought. Oh, okay. It, because it's one of these... Uh, I think People can make things by accident, too, you know? No, it's perfect. The scale <laughs> yes. is perfect. You hit the button, the hole, and it makes it. Uh, the toot toot. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he didn't even, like, see a TV till he was, like, 18 or something. Like, his backstory is pretty odd. Wow. Well, but I, I might be I would believe that. Too. Yeah. I He's would, an odd duck. I believe that. 
Because he did. He also did the documentary about the dude that got ate by the bear. Yeah, yeah. that was. Oh yeah, what was that called? Grizzly Man. Yep. Yeah, I never saw that. It's pretty good. I know a lot about it, and I've seen clips, but I'm like, I think I got it. I don't need to watch this dumb. <laughs> it is hey, pretty stupid. Hey, like, buddy. He does hey. have that energy. Yeah. Where he's just like, I'm going to be extra nice to yeah, the bears. Yeah, I'm one with the bears, man. They think I'm one of them. Yeah. yeah. No, they don't. Yeah. They'll, yeah. they'll tolerate you until they decide, yeah. fuck this guy, and yeah. then they go like that. And it's all over. And you're dead. And then they make a little Philly cheesesteak out of it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, there was actual audio, because they were always filming. That guy was always filming it. And Werner, in the documentary, you watch Werner listen to the audio of yeah. them. Because it was being like, eaten. Being yeah. eaten. Yeah. And he's like, oof. <laughs> That's not so good. Oof, the bear is hungry. Yeah. <laughs> these, are the, these are the worst Werner impressions. It's not that bad. Werner so. Herzog. Yeah, Werner Herzog. Like the little child. I don't know. I can't do it. So never mind. Is there Being something judgmental. he's best known for? Is it the grizzly one? He nah. does. He acts too, and he. I think probably. He, I think he made a movie about. Didn't he make a movie about people moving a ship over a mountain? I think where they actually did it, but it's like a theatrical yeah, I think movie. It, yeah, I think he did. Yeah, and then he's st- like he's the bad guy in the first uh, the Jack Reacher movie. He is? Yeah. What? Yeah, and he's in he's in the Mandalorian. He does acting too. Huh. Yeah. He's the one that insisted. He told John Favreau they should use a puppet instead of CGI. And they were like, that's the best decision we made. You should use the poppies. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's in the, in Jack, maybe it's the second Jack Reacher, I don't know, but he like chewed his own fingers off to escape. So he's got missing all his fingers. Huh, I. My so, fingers. Yeah, my little fingies. My little okay. fingies are gone. <laughs> You're not mad enough to bite off your own little fingies, mm, Jack Reacher. That's <laughs> <laughs> not. <but, laughs> I run a chocolate yeah. factory. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. This is my son, Augustus. Yeah, it's very much Augustus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that biting off the fingers makes me think uh, just a couple of days ago, I rewatched 127 Hours. Ah, good, good movie. Yeah. Uh, a fascinating guy after the documentary because I was like, I wonder if it was. I mean, I, I assumed it had to be pretty accurate with the hour being in the title and all right. that shit. But uh, yeah. that guy went on to to um, break a bunch more mountain records. Yeah, I was like, I think Ugh. if I had to saw my own arm off, <laughs> I'm done with like a Swiss Army knife. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, it's I'm also one of those movies where knives. you're like, this fucking guy, kind of like Into the Wild. Where you're like, bro, you deserved it. He didn't. You got what you Into asked the for. wild more so. You got but this what you dude, asked he for. like didn't tell anybody where he was going. He's like, da 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 da. da. I'm the best, the best, the best. Oh shit, I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm uh, the worst. Yeah. Gonna chop my arm. Off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like, a mi- come on, dog. Who's, who's the guy in that? I can't think of his name. In uh, in 127 hours. hours. Jesus. James Frank. Yeah. yeah. There we go. I think about the real guy. I was like, I got. Mm. I feel like James yeah. Frank. I was thinking about this the other day. For some reason, I, I thought about him or someone mentioned him. I'm like, huh. He did he get like he got canceled. shadow band canceled? No, he got canceled. Did he get straight up canceled. Yeah, he's I'm coming like, back. I know. I'm like, yeah. but did he? And then I went and looked at his I, IMDb and like he hasn't done anything since 2019. Yeah, wow. and the shit he was doing then was like because he was doing small acting classes movies. and like fucking everyone. Yeah, yeah. And mm. they were like, well, I feel like his come up and wasn't. That notable. It happened, but it well, wasn't. He also acknowledged it right away, but even Seth Rogen was like, yeah, we w- we're not going to work together anymore because yeah. of that. So he did. He got straight up canceled. He was in everything for like a decade, yeah. and then he, yeah. He was annoying. He's another one of those things where it was like, I liked, I liked well, I don't like that he get what, it, what he got canceled for, you know, fucking <laughs> chicks or whatever, but 
uh, I did. I do like him <laughs> acting, but I also was like, bro. He's like, oh, I got my degree. I got my degree yeah, yeah, yeah. while I was acting. I'm like, oh yeah. I'm sure the classes were really hard, James Franco. <laughs> I bet those professors were like, give them the hardest ones. <laughs> like, no, they fucking weren't. I don't give a shit about They're your degree. Yeah. <laughs> a degree in what? I don't fucking Leisure care. Leisure studies. Yeah, you got yeah. it while you were acting. Who gives yeah. a fuck? You're famous. I don't give a rat's ass. He's been famous not for impressed. a long time. He was yeah. in Freaks and Geeks. Uh, yeah. He's been that was a like his first shit. thing. Was that the first thing? I think so. Yeah, I know it was early for, for Seth a lot of Rogen, guys, too. Yeah. Yep. Seth Rogen, I think, did stand-up when he was young first. Yeah, in Vancouver. Yeah. Yeah, it was annoying when uh, Franco got all kind of intellectual on us. What was all? And I was like, real intellectual, banging all the students. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Good job. Way to go. Yeah. Real rocket scientist. There's all, <laughs> and I will give it to, like, I think, like, Natalie Portman actually quit acting to go to Harvard. So, like, yeah. yeah. But I still am not. I'm like, you're already famous. You're. I'm not impressed. I don't believe people are giving you the, the as challenging of tasks. I'm, yeah. Like, did you have to work as hard to get into Harvard? Right. Knowing you're. Yeah. You were like, in Star Wars. Is this? Yeah, that's on her resume. Yeah, so yeah. To get into Harvard, <laughs> I, I did uh, wield lightsabers. For yeah. Me. I don't know, but you know, fuck celebrities until I am one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're cool. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> They're fine. Uh, a guy I used to uh, take care of when I was doing uh, nursey type stuff years ago. The old hand job guy. Yes, it sounds illegal. <laughs> nursey type stuff. I don't want to get into the details. Yeah. But it was uh, nursing adjacent, yeah. not really legal. <laughs> All under the table kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, no, it was above board as far as I was told. Um, I think the company is still in action, which is why I'm trying to tread lightly on this live podcast. Oh, yeah. But uh, one of the people I helped t- take care of, um, I couldn't r- really use his arms that well, and so he'd have me load up gay porn on his uh, <laughs> iPad for him, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I would sort of like... And you're like, finally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> AJ's time to shine. Yeah. yeah. It's already hearted on the iPad. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Um, but I would uh, play gay porn for him, right? Yeah. Uh, but just recently, he created, I think, what he thought was a fake profile, but it was still just his profile, but he changed the name and then, yeah. and then put a picture of a hot lady okay. as the profile picture, and he's been trying to... Catfish put, people? Catfish me. Oh, okay. Uh, and, uh, and presumably other people, but the problem is, is that I, I don't think he's realized that all the profile pictures before it are still him. <laughs> oh, man. So it's like, damn, It's a dog. real sharp one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, damn. You look at the <laughs> the profile picture, like, oh, hot lady. Then you're like, let's look at the older yeah. one. Oh, it's him. Yeah. Oh, it's him. Oh, it's him. He almost got me, though, for that yeah. first little second. Where I was Dude, like, and he still time. got him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Virtually... Any you got a double any attractive woman that friends you on social media? You go now. Wait a minute. Do I, I if I don't actually know the person? I'm like, click, click, click. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're fake. Yeah. Always, always. Ninety eight percent of the time. And that two anyway. percent of the time, you have a kid with. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're podcasting for two, honey. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, um, before this very podcast, Caitlin Clark continuing to make history. Um, is that they're going I, to the final four? Yeah, the thing I was going to ask because of that was, um, I don't follow uh sports that well. Can you put it into context how big she is? Or she's basically, uh, I don't think as far as women's basketball goes, there's never been anything like it. The biggest thing ever. Yeah. How long ago did everyone know this? Last year. Always, I mean, always, but really the last few couple of years. Yeah. yeah okay. Especially, especially, everyone really started paying attention last year. Yeah. Is she a senior this year? Yeah. Okay. She'll be hitting the old WNBA draft after all this. Or playing for Ice Cube. Yeah. Well, I guess she can do both because they're different seasons. But Ice Cube offered her five milli to play in that. his three-on-three league he's really trying to make that happen i've watched it a little bit and it's like eh. and they let the old guys play too yeah it's, it's basically letting the old guys fuck around and play yeah 
three on three short court basket like you know it's mm. Did you and you tried to watch it and you were just like yeah nah. it's like it's it's fun but I don't it's not that compelling I don't know yeah <laughs> it's a bunch of burnouts has beens who are just like not in any kind of shape because the court is definitely shortened and they're just like launching shots and it's like oh my favorite player is still playing like yeah I guess I'd never even heard of it until the Caitlin yeah. yeah. Clark offer came about. He's trying yeah, to that, I mean, that was, a, that was a genius business move for him to offer that because I'm sure there's, I mean, of course, there's tons of people that have not heard of Ice Cube's three-on-three basketball yeah. league. Oh, cool. So he's got he's put some serious thought into it, though. I've heard him interviewed about it before. No, it's yeah. it's not. I mean, I it's it's a good concept. It's just not there yet. I don't for yeah. for the mass the masses. I guess it's hard to start a new sport. You know. Yeah. No. It shit. is. Yeah. Yeah. Look no further than High Lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But High Lie. Hey, I guess I don't know. I think that came from like the Aztecs. Yeah, I don't think it was new. Old. Yeah, they used to play it with you know severed new heads. New to America. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now that's a good movie. Hollow High Lie. It is a fucking. It is a great movie. Uh, Vernon Herzog's not in that. Nope. Unfortunately. Uh, he's unfortunate. <laughs> he would have added a lot to <laughs> Apocalypto. <laughs> So there's just a German accented white guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm going to shoot uh, you with my bow and arrow now. <laughs> I'm going to give you typhoid. <laughs> uh. mm. <Mm-mm. laughs> Are there any more prompts than them? There are eggs. Oh, I mean, you could certainly take a look. Here, let me. Yeah. I just need more jelly beans, yeah, so really. You're, just, <laughs> you're looking for a sugar rush. Give me sugar. Mm-hmm. All right. Did you watch 60 Minutes yesterday? I did not. I got it recorded, though. What, what was, it was what, one of the more terrifying episodes I've ever seen. Oh, what was it about? Havana Syndrome. Oh, that's The it. update. I'm interested in that. The update. Yeah. yeah. So, so Havana, Havana Syndrome, short version is, in 2016, there were um, some uh, American mm, diplomats and stuff in Havana, Cuba. Cuba. And all of a sudden, a few of them felt like literally their brain got zapped. Like It felt like. Their head started ringing. They got a huge, massive headache. They blacked out. And then after that, like they had trouble, like walking, standing, talking. Their brain, like basically, their brain got attacked. And they're like, we don't know what this is. This, but it seems like something happened. It wasn't just a random thing. And apparently, it's been happening to like dozens, if not hundreds, of um, people working in uh, foreign intelligence for the United States overseas and in America, but. So, like, they had a woman on who's a, well, she was in she was in disguise, a terrible disguise, but she worked for probably like the CIA or something, and uh, for counterintelligence or something. But she was at home, uh, like, doing laundry, standing by her window, and she felt like a, all of a sudden a dentist drill was like in her, just like times ten, felt like this pulse go through her head, like couldn't see. She's like puked a bunch of times, and then now, now she's all fucked up. Yep. And so. 60 Minutes has done this story on this. This is the third one they've done over like the last, since 2016. In the first story, they're like, we don't know what's going on. And the second story was they had a bunch of doctors look into it and like something is definitely happening. They feel like they're being attacked by like an acoustical, an acoustic or, or sound or energy weapon being directed in people's heads. Yeah. And there's like, medical well, evidence for it. So they're like, okay, so this is really happening. Now we don't know how it's doing. And the original it, it's was a bunch of people at one hotel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 I will say I have that exact same reaction anytime a guy brings out an acoustic guitar at a party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That acoustical attack is also terrible. Right to the brain. Yeah, it makes <laughs> me uh, shit my pants and puke too. Yeah. Forget your name. <laughs> <laughs> Now I like to play Wonderwall. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> wish you would step back from that land. So did they come to any conclusions? Yeah, they, uh, off of some pretty solid reporting and work on their part, it's 100% Russia, and they have some sort of energy weapon that they're using, and the American government is ignoring it and being like, we don't really believe it's a real thing, so we're not going to worry about it. And it's like, <laughs> these, Great. these guys at will can take out people, and they're doing it like crazy, and we're just going to ignore it, I guess. Okay. It's called the Havana problem. Havana syndrome. syndrome. Havana syndrome. Yeah. yeah. 
is but it something where like they think you have to be within a certain range, like a boombox? Yeah, they ex- they thing? talked about it, and there's a a, a Russian um, like basically assassin unit that has been working on this, and they they found some basically paperwork that proved like a smoking gun that they were working on a a directed energy beam weapon cool. that worked. And all this uh, sh- these guy they they. I can't remember. You can watch the whole thing on 60 Minutes. Some, they, I think it was in Florida somewhere. This guy was speeding down the interstate. The cops were chasing him. They don't know why he was running, going like 120 miles an hour. Put the spike strips down. They finally get him. They get the guy out of the car, and it's this Russian guy with a bag. With a, He has a bag with a bunch of bank account information, a Russian passport, and he's like, oh, I don't know what I was doing. And it turns out he was, um, he was a part of that unit. And he was almost definitely 100% uh, zapping people in America. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Is it just like one of those little dishes with like a... I don't well, know. they do have... We don't know. They have... Yeah. <laughs> they have like riot control sound weapons already. Yeah. yeah. I've heard... Because well, didn't the sphere also do something kind of like that? Dire- yeah. Like directional audio. Yeah. When we were in the sphere, remember we like lined up? And where you stood... You yes. Could, you could only right. hear certain right. instruments. It was yep. amazing. Yeah. Yep. Because you can direct... Yeah, just um, sound. And then they're like, "Stand over pinpoint. here, and you'll hear this. You'll hear yeah. the xylophone." Yeah, yeah. Yep. that was bananas. Yeah. They're also so mix that with AI. And yesterday, I saw a drone that can go from like zero to two hundred and fifty miles per hour in one second. Or I saw whatever. that video. I'm like, "Is this real?" I wasn't. I watched it several times, and I was like, "I don't know if <laughs> it was it's real." Or it not. was presented as real. It wasn't. I didn't. Know and about, it looked real. I didn't know enough digging, but it yeah, seemed. It looked real. And I'll, either way. AI mixed with you know uh, direct sound brain melt weapons and drones, you can do a lot of damage with that. Uh huh. Just saying. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Let's put our tinfoil hats on now. Yeah. yeah. Keep put our away. bunny ears on. Keep our ears to the ground, boy. <laughs> what do you do? I mean, I guess there's not a whole lot we can do about it, right? No. When they come around with the. Uh, the brain laser, yeah, the brain, the brain audio laser weapon. Yeah, um, there's not. Uh, hopefully, you know, we pants. won't be targeted. You know, I think we're pretty low on the list. Yeah, I'd say so. I think so I'll and melt my own if brain. We get well enough Patreon that. subscribers. Yeah, that's right. Maybe they'll come after us. Yep. patreoncom slash dsm folks. Yeah, I did. I heard another thing today on in, on uh, podcast just about how terrible social media and phones are for the the youngsters, especially young ladies. Just has me freaked out, kind of. Does it like fuck up their body image? And yeah, there's their brain. Like suicide rates have tripled since 2012. Uh, that's just and just mental health has plummeted since basically the onset of true social media and Instagram, specifically and amongst phones, women, amongst young girls. But uh, it's bad for boys too. But uh, amongst young girls, it is by far the worst. Which is a bummer, like people cutting themselves. And then they're like, well, maybe it's because of the housing crisis or something. Like, well, what about kids in New Zealand and England and all over the planet right. that, different, that didn't happen Every to. other different yeah. economic circumstance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the nice thing about growing up when I, I guess I can only speak for myself, when I grew up, um, the generation I was in, there was a time where you left school and you no longer like had to worry about being bullied. Yeah, they said part of it too is that yeah. now if somebody if like they had to write you a letter to call you gay. Yeah. If you get <laughs> yeah, if you're getting bullied on social media, now it can happen 24/7 outside yeah, like of school all day you, every day. Like oh, you're a pussy. Yeah. And there's just it's just I don't know, dude. And I think about how much social media has fucked me up as a grown man. And it's gotten me pretty good a few times, you know, just messed with my brain. Yeah. So imagine being a young kid. I, I can't even fathom it, really. Yeah, I mean, I think it's caused rifts in f- what would be friendships for me at times, where it's like someone I might have liked if I would never would have met their social media side. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> at, there's people I like. There's people definitely that I like in person. 
but I see so much of them online where I'm like, oh, I forgot that I hate you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like I don't forget. I'm just like, oh, I hate this person. And then you meet them in person. You're like, oh, you're fine. I just hate your online persona. Yeah. I'm sure people hate my online persona. Or, you know? I'm, what is this cryptic shit he keeps writing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no more. There's not so much I, I feel like there is some people you always that definitely used to hate your social media. <laughs> yeah. That was a few years ago. Yeah. Things are yeah. different now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you do still kind of write it in that toll code. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I like to have the lines separate. I don't know. What can I say? Yeah, it's very poetic, poetry like. Yeah. I just like to, to have the separate Today I went for lines. Period. For a walk. A walk indeed, yes. <laughs> Sometimes. S'more cereal? I think so. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> now, nah, maybe not. That's it's like a, nine lines. Yeah, yeah, but it's all these different. But areas. most of them, yeah. That's, what's, that's what it's like. <laughs> it used to, I used to do that all night long and then in the morning. Did like, you? Ooh, I need to delete all of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you let it rip sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I almost uh, put out a funny little joke today. And I was like, you know what happens every time you do that, AJ? There's always someone who absolutely hates it. It makes you feel bad. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, yeah. nah, not. Yeah. I'd rather put myself live on the internet. So they yeah, perfect. Me. I like that better. It is funny to say that I'm, I judge people online while I'm wearing bunny ears on a live podcast <laughs> in a generic <laughs> sweatshirt. <laughs> I kind of uh, forgot about the Iowa ears. sweatshirt. Uh-huh. I kind of forgot about the bunny ears for a second. Oh, yeah. My own, at least. I, I can see yours. Yours are actually backwards, kind of. Oh, they, keep, oh, they are. You know, we can't see the, the pink, uh, the labia of your bunny ears. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of look like a pussy. Put them on. Yeah, that one at least. That one's asking yeah. for it. Zoom in. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> AJ's lonely. Yeah. Oh, two in the pink and this one in the sting. Starting to look like Toll's leopard to me a little. <laughs> <laughs> Was that? Mm. Uh, did you buy that for yourself or uh, win it at a state fair? Or? Oh, I think one of my sisters won it at a... By Adventureland or the State Fair or something. It was old. Like, Here you go, Tolly. No, no, I was in the attic, <laughs> and I was just like, "Oh, this is perfect." Oh, ho- well, hello, yeah. hello. <laughs> yeah. Are you <laughs> are you a single leopard? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Toll starts yeah. kneading the ground, <laughs> looking for a little company tonight. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm safe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a rubber. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, damn. Would you only? Would it be only in the attic, like the love making, or would you? Did you take it down to your room? I took you? it down. Oh, yeah, okay. good. <laughs> it was a problem. Yeah. Made an honest one, and it was like her. falling apart because it had been in the attic. Yeah, it wasn't good. This is I've, all things that have been said on the podcast before that are just much more humiliating on video. Yeah, it's coming yeah. right out of your mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, hey, and easy to comment on, which ain't great. <laughs> <laughs> you had to make an effort to comment on our podcast. Now you can just trash us real time. Yeah. I kind of like that part, though. Me yeah. too. Get it, it out of the more way. like stand up in a way. Yeah, for sure. Where it's like, like many stand up shows, the mic wasn't working. <laughs> the audio was, you know, the, the show started late. Yeah. Uh, a little extra late, but that's on me. And I apologize, everybody. I apologize for that. Good it's for uh, you, AJ. Yeah. I'm do, a we t- all have a, do I have a carrot? Do we all have a carrot? Do I have a carrot too? You do. I don't oh, have a oh, carrot. Alex has a carrot. I'm not. You have a carrot. I'm the odd man out. Okay. How is that attached? It's just. I think it's sewed on. It's jizz. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Yeah, they do look a lot like vaginas. AJ said it. Yep. I mean, when you look at it, kind of right. I don't know if mine do, but Tolls was kind of yeah. looking like it. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Don't touch it. Where is it? Oh, here so we go. sensitive. Yeah. yeah. Where is it? Oh, right about there. It's just like real life. <laughs> <Is that it>? <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Uh, I'm in it, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I figured it out. Um, the first time I ever stop tried slapping it, it. I got to the top <laughs> with my girlfriend and I backed out. I didn't go back down. I got scared off. Oh, yeah? The very first time I like tried to go down my girlfriend's pants. Oh, yeah. I, like, I hit the top of it like where it started. <gasps> top it rope. Like, Yikes. And I was like, I'm. It was intimidating. That's above my pay grade. Yeah. I'm going to go regroup. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to think about this. Think about what I learned so far. I'm going to take a night class, maybe, or something. (laughs) Get my associate's degree. Yeah. 
Yeah. It was a little a, more comfortable with myself. Yeah. I mean, because all I knew was yeah. my, my parents never did a birds and bees talk like with me or anything. They didn't explain that. So porno kind of gave me an idea. And otherwise, it was just my stupid friends, you know, yeah. who had already done but, stuff that were like, yeah, you just go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you're like writing notes. Okay, go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. okay. What else? What else? I have no. I don't know. I was super drunk. I guess on a at a, at a hotel in Anaheim, California. Oh yeah, it was was it Disney World? Land. Disneyland. Disneyland. <laughs> Did you meet them at Disneyland? Uh, you, they were staying at our hotel. Okay. But also visiting Disney. Yeah, there was a cheerleader convention or like a <laughs> tournament or something. Toll runs into a. It's like the bus at cheerleader the end of convention. Uh, yeah, Dumb and Dumber. Yep. <laughs> but you actually saw it through. Yeah, yeah, miserably. <laughs> Good times. Perfect. Check out the old podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm amazed you were able to do it. With like basically a stranger, I was terrified, and I oh was not girl- really. I didn't. I mean, I didn't finish, and right. I I ate her out for like two hours with my <laughs> friends in the room, <laughs> and then the rest of our vacation they went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. And it was, uh, and then she wouldn't wake up in the morning, and her friends were leaving, and they're like, <laughs> "If she doesn't fucking come, we're leaving without her." And I was like, "Oh my god." I have to marry her now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to wake you up, honey. Yeah. Heather from Amarillo, if you're watching, give me a call. <laughs> I still have your underwear. <laughs> I think she's going to see this. I want to yeah. make a clip out of that. Yeah, yeah. Heather from Amarillo. Yeah. I got the... I, yeah. It's a long distance dedication yeah. Yeah. from Tool yeah. to Heather and Amarillo. I never forgot about you, baby. Boy, did I love eating you out for two hours. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't really. I don't love anything crazy. about it. I mean, it's such a giver, though. That's young yeah. man energy right there. Yeah, two hours. Wow. I didn't know what, because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. No I one. Mean, yeah. No one in their right mind on either side of that equation. And both of my friends that. in the room. Two hours. Just uh, pretending to sleep. Golly. I can imagine. Like, this guy I won't think, give it a rest. Yeah. It's like when a dog won't stop licking itself and you're trying <laughs> yeah. to sleep. Yeah. And you have to be like, <laughs> you're like, shut up. <laughs> Like, I love you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. The cat will do that Stop sometimes, it. too. Oh, wow. yeah. Like a dog licking their paws. Yeah. Ugh. That was you. That yep. was you licking yep. a paw for two hours. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. I mean, my, two hours. In my your head. face must have been pruny. Like, the, like this whole section <laughs> of your face. You must have been like two inches to the right. Like, you weren't even. <laughs> I don't fucking like, know. Like her dude. knee pit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yep. God damn. I mean,. Two hours, Jesus. I, I would, I mean, yeah, I guess back in the old days before um, sex was fully in my purview, I guess we'd, I, me and my girlfriends would make out so long that like our faces would hurt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just make the out dry, dry hump. Yeah, dry the hump for dry like an hour and a half. Boy, oh, boy. Yeah. I never really, I never really did that. <laughs> it was always a wet <laughs> hump for you. <laughs> no humping it's Just even hours and hours of oral sex oh, I'm glad that's on video Yeah, It's not even a weed vape <laughs> Yeah there are for me huh? It's vapes <laughs> Just still learning I'm Still learning I need a You're like Marco Rubio with mm. the water <laughs> His throat can all dry Do I know the jelly bean? No no I'm okay <laughs> No Heather from Amarillo, Texas. Hey, yeah. And I, I got, I was like, are you dating an adult man? Like, that's the impression I got. Like, she, you know, like she was dating some criminal in Amarillo. Did, sure. Did you hear, like, overhear a phone call of her with a guy who sounded criminally? No, but it was like her friends talking about it. And I Derek's going to freak when we get yeah, back. <laughs> yeah. When he finds out we sold all his H. <laughs> <laughs> Tool's like what? Yeah. He looks up from eating pussy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? uh, Classic bib around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Lobster claws yeah, on it. Joe's him. crab shack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> was that a goal? Like when you had when you went to the on that trip, were you like, this is the this is the trip. I'm getting laid. No. I mean, we yeah. I didn't think because we were going on a. We spent two days at Disneyland and then went on a cruise. 
And you're like, this and we is didn't better. think that we would. <laughs> We were like, well, we're going to be going on a cruise. And then we're like, oh, a cheer- like a bunch of cheerleaders are staying at our hotel. And then we were hanging out at the pool in the hot tub. And the girl goes, I'm going to fuck him. And I did one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I was Who, like, me? me? <laughs> yeah. Who, me? Yeah. And then I was very scared. <laughs> me? And then I got... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I then, wore the shirt today, by the way. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Shout, out, we, shout out my man, Beat. <laughs> and this was uh, pre-9-11, so we brought a bunch of, a shitload of liquor in two-liter bottles in our bags with us. And we had that almost the whole trip until we could buy it legally in Mexico by the time we ran out. So it all worked out. <laughs> Beautiful. Damn. Yeah. How long total was this trip? I think our cruise was five days, so we did two days in Anaheim and Disneyland, and then the cruise was five days long. God damn. With a bunch of old people and three hammered teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds kind of fun. It was. We had a great time. Yeah. And they, yeah, and you they ate some old lady's pussy for two hours. Straight. <laughs> yeah, no, she was young. She was like, she was younger than she was sixteen, and I was eighteen. Oh, underage, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I was eight. Well, I mean, perfect. Good job. You know. Well, her boyfriend, I um, was like thirty-five. You know, of so course. Her boyfriend. Her was boyfriend. 35? I don't know. If it was That's her boy. crazy. It was a dude they taught. This is all. I don't fucking know. I mean, it was a long ass time ago. Twenty-four years ago. Heather uh, and Amarillo. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out. She was like, I never had one as good as told. Yep. Yeah. yeah, she still thinks about you. I, I bet, bet she does. <laughs> Probably wondering where her underpants are. Yeah. That guy ate puss like nobody's biz. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like he had no idea what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> he ate my ass for an hour and a half straight. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, you didn't give up. No, I didn't. Much to my friend's chagrin. Yeah, I feel like I'm surprised she didn't say something. She was, I mean, the next morning she wouldn't even wake up, you know. <laughs> so if we Ate finally her pussy to death. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, I mean, she was even alive. We finally got her to leave. Support. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have to hit like a gong in front of her? <laughs> Basically, head, next to her head? I don't remember how we finally got her to fucking get out of there because it, it was a big thing. Because we're like, we can't. His parents couldn't fucking find us with a girl in the room. Then her friends were leaving, and they were going to leave her behind, they kept saying, if she didn't come meet them. It was stressful, man. Damn. I was very hungover. I remember that, too. Your nose is all pruney still. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, indeed. Mm -hmm. Uh Jeez, how much time moving? Okay, we're doing all right on time. Yep, Don't this worry. is our third hour of podcasting, right. but the podcast has only been yeah. <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. Um, I got oh, so I got this. Do an impression of someone else in the room's joke. Oh yeah, I liked that one when I wrote it. So it's like a lot someone of pressure. Else, someone else's, you know, like a classic Alex or AJ. I was talking about one of Alex's jokes yesterday. Oh. But it's the one I always talk about. But where you talk about, uh, I can't, I, I don't think I can do an impression of it. I can just describe it. But you're like cats versus dogs. How like if you choke a dog, they're like, yeah. but a cat, if you choke a cat, like, and then Alex is like, I'm going to, dem- you're going to demonstrate to your brother, I think. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. <laughs> and then like, ch- check this out. And then he's like, starts choking the cat. And he's like, and his brother's like, ooh. And the cat's just like, mm, just stares back at him. Cat doesn't care. Cat doesn't care at all. And then finally he's like crushing the cat's windpipe. And the cat looks at me. He's like, just fucking do it already. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like that one. Hell yeah. Cats in space. I like that one too. Yeah, I gotta bring that like, back. Uh, it's been a while. Cats in a car are like sending pilgrims to space, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause they're like, oh, <laughs> like yeah, that'd be like putting a fucking pilgrim in the space shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> that would rock their fucking world. Yeah, 
Because people always talk about the cell phone that we're like, oh, bring a cell phone back. They wouldn't. They think it was witchcraft, which they yeah. would too. But can you imagine strapping them into a <laughs> fucking spaceship? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Because yeah. I, I know Shatner talked about he took that flight up with Bezos. Yeah. yeah. Shatner. And he said it totally changed his life. It like, completely changed his even perspective as an old on ass man. the world. Yeah. He's like, once you see it from space and you see that we're just in this fucking, we're just all on a ball in space, it kind of changes the way you think about things, which I wish we could all do that. Yeah. Maybe the world would be a better place. Or we'd be like, fuck it, burn it to the ground. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd believe it changed him if he chose to take the wig off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, he comes out, he gets off the, the spaceship, he's like, you know what, guys? He just takes his fucking That's piece off, and he's like, everything's different now. I'm, I'm that would be stunning. Yeah, He's still fucking killing it for 80-whatever years it's old. Amazing. Or is he 90 now? He's got to be pushing 90. He is old. But nobody, we were talking about this pre-podcast, or during the pre-whatever. Ernie Hudson. The earlier versions of this. Ernie podcast. Hudson, Yeah, 78 years old. There's pictures of him floating around. He, you know, he's Winston in Ghostbusters. He still looks fuckable. Jacked. He yeah. looks like he's 45, dude. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you he look does. better than all yeah. three of us. He looks like he Mr. Does. Steel, Good your girl, him. Steel. <laughs> yes. Still. It's yes. crazy. <laughs> he looks better than he did in 1984. Yeah. And Bill, so the new Ghostbusters. Well, that's like he's Eddie in Murphy, the new too. Ghostbusters. And uh, Bill, Black don't Bill crack. Murray's in it, too. And Bill Murray's about the same age as him. I think he's younger, actually. Yeah. And he looks like hell. Like He looks yeah. fucking old as shit. Beat <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> it's you like, know? have you seen those pictures of Nicholson, like on that uh, yacht yeah. or whatever? And he's got his shirt off and he's yeah. like eating a hot dog and shit. <laughs> yeah. Where I'm like, yeah. that's what you're supposed to look that like. That is kind of a, a good for him, though. Yeah. Dude, fuck it. But like, yeah, that's what I would, I will likely look like if I even make it to that age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I eat a lot of gas station hot dogs. Yeah. But, um, we'll be yeah. well preserved with gas station <laughs> hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. Good God. I look forward to that, like, asbestos level research that comes out about all the preservatives and shit we eat. Yeah. The amount of big league chew I ate. <laughs> that you just straight up swallow. Yeah. The grape. I loved uh, the grape big so league chew. Good. Big yeah. pinch. Yeah. Big pinch. And I would just chew, chew until it was like. So the flavor was almost. No, and it was like. Just to where the flavor was going to start to go away, and then I'd swallow it like food. Oh, God. I, I get that. And it's then hard I, not to. It's yeah. so good. I did many pouches like that. Yeah. And well, they, you know, <laughs> all, that, all that gum stuff is a myth. That you, you can digest it. I wondered because I, I always had this like little fat roll around my midsection. It's from and, the gum. And I always thought it was gum. I was like, maybe eight, nine years from now, it'll all be gone. Because <laughs> there was a good sh- couple year stretch where I. Yeah, was eating a lot of big league chew. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> not chewing, eating. Well, that eating, was like uh, Razzles. Remember, is that what they were called? Razzles. Razzles. What were Razzles? It was the candy that turns into a gum. So it was a gross candy that turned into a gross gum. Oh yeah, I Ugh. remember that. Yeah, and then you, I would often, frequently swallow that. Perfect. Also, what a dumb like. Oh, see, it's they they just made gross gum. They're like, let's say it's candy that turns into gum. Let's say this hard, terrible gum is just candy. How about that? What do you guys think of that? <laughs> Perfect. Put it out there. The kids will love it. That's like the, that fruit stripe gum. It's the best tasting gum of all time. Uh, for, for four seconds. Yeah, for four seconds. It is. And then it turns into like a little uh, like shitty piece of uh, cardboard yeah. almost. Truly a clay in your remarkable mouth. Yeah. <laughs> how, how the flavor on that went away. Kind yeah. of fucking insane. And now you can chew sugar-free gum where the flavor, like, you can still sense the flavor, like, three hours later. You know, have a little piece yeah. of sugar-free mint gum in your mouth. Like, I'm still minty, okay? <laughs> I don't know when you the know? last time was I chewed gum. I, I chew 14 pieces of gum all day, every day, during the world. All at week. once? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a big... By the end of the day... Uh, That's how he's got his jaw. Today on. it was 15 pieces because I had to chew a different kind. <sighs> That's, this isn't surprising. But that's part of what. That's how I stay awake behind the wheel on my long drives. And it makes people, you know, not want to talk to me. So I'm down with it. You're a very impressive bubble blower. It's yeah. true. I just, I had an anniversary today. It is fucking nuts. It's like this big. Yeah. You've, wow. you've blown a couple where it's. Show AJ right now. Just yeah. takes up the entire. <laughs> Show the people at home. Screen. Can they? Will they be able to see it? Maybe I'll punch in on it. I'll zoom in. 
Look at that bad boy. <laughs> oh, I can see it, sort of. You can see it. Oh, oh, yeah. And it's uh, fun because it sort of like bukkakes you at the yeah, end. Yeah, it does. And I got a sweet fucking trucker stash. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Remember that? Here, Alex, have a look at that. Yeah, that's look what at I'm this saying. guy. Remember I know. this? It's very impressive. <laughs> What kind of gum are you using? That would probably be Trident, which it's is like, kind of crazy. <laughs> Look at that shit. It's, it's like, like a parachute than, popped on my than face. A basketball. <laughs> yeah. No big deal. Yeah. I'm a man of many talents. I know. I know. <laughs> That's the only one. <laughs> you got a lot of You're a great podcaster. Oh, Everybody thanks. knows that. Everybody knows that. Eat pussy like nobody's biz. Just hours at a time. <laughs> As an 18-year-old, munching away, has no <laughs> idea what he's doing. I think I wish I yeah, could. Did have you ever a, do any research? Like, how did did you get a birds and bees talk from your parents? We had like what sex we, was. We had a uh, deacon come talk to us at Holy Trinity. Perfect. And you could ask him anything. And that was in like ask him anything. The deacon knows. I swear it was in like second grade. I remember somebody was like, second "What does an grade. orgasm feel like?" And his answer was. Hmm, hmm. Very, very good. <laughs> and we were all like, yeah. We're like, all right. That was a way to get in depth with us. Yeah. But the, how do you explain what an orgasm feels like? I don't know. Mm. Very, very good is a pretty good explanation. Yeah. So very, intense. Very, very, very good. <laughs> yes. Almost too good? <laughs> yeah. Like, like if it went on much longer, you'd probably have to be hospitalized. Yeah. yeah. Immediately stop it. <laughs> yeah. It feels like being electrocuted. Yeah, but in a positive way. Yes, yeah. in a positive yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, you make a face like this. Ah! 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 You always warn them before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feels like I'm someone, gonna come. Ah! Feels like Russians are pumping radio waves into your brain <laughs> from across the street, <laughs> but in a positive way. In a positive way. Oh man! Yeah. It's like uh, have you heard of the Havana syndrome? Yeah. yeah, I still remember my first one ever. I mean, it's like a hacky I, stand-up bit at this point. But I, I tell, I, I literally that joke I tell yeah, exactly is real, yeah. except the washing my hair with jizz part. But yeah. that part isn't real. I came later. Yeah, he quit doing that. Yeah, yeah, but that genuinely not knowing what the hell happened. And being like, I guess shampoo comes out of my dick. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. well, now I got that so, going. On. <laughs> yeah. So it really was in the shower. Then. It really was. After wow. after a whole day of staring at a Victoria's Secret, not knowing what the fuck was going on Wow, with my little hard penis. <laughs> what a hilarious thought. We <laughs> yeah. all went through that point in a time where we're like, man, I'm too young and dumb to understand what's happening. My, my body is telling me a... Big story right now, <laughs> yes, and I am not yeah. getting the headline. Yeah. My I don't know me what to no. do. <laughs> and this, and my this body, <laughs> my body is telling me. Yeah. Yeah. I was standing up. And the this first plus time size bra ad is really doing it for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 I, uh, These I tummy control panties, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't matter. Every newspaper. Totally likey. Yeah. <laughs> totally <Yep>. wong wing. <laughs> it didn't Dude, matter. Green drop drink. What a time. Yeah. yeah. It is crazy. God, I'm glad I don't have to do that shit again. Uh, the first time. Except for you have you're about to have a kid, so right. But I don't have to be a walking hard on again. You know what I mean? Those years. That's true. It is nice when it ebbs a little. Finally. Yeah, because it really is just like level five thousand testosterone in your brain. It's rough stuff, especially when it's all it's all you want, and it's the only thing you can't get. You know. Oh yeah, it's a crazy time in your life when mm -hmm. your brain is just on fire. It's like all you want is a, a cookie, and your brain is literally on fire for a cookie. But you never had a cookie. <laughs> yeah. But you know, but the you know they're take, good. Yeah, you, know it's gonna <laughs> yeah, taste good. you don't even know exactly <laughs> what to do with it. But you're yeah. like, my, my brain <laughs> is insisting. Then you finally get a cookie and you eat it for two fucking hours. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just slobber everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I think I'm going to yeah. like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my, my, this cookie made my neck hurt. Um, <laughs> Got a jaw cramp eating <laughs> this cookie. Got dislocated in my jaw. Yeah. Like a boa constrictor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it is cool. 
I remember seeing uh, the neighbor lady's boobs, um, where she there'd be like a tan. Like I remember even as a young child knowing that tan lines were sexy and like boner worthy. Yeah. Just looking at like the neighbor lady, cause she would sort of sun herself like it, with uh, that little foil thing, little poly walnuts thing. Oh yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> just like that, kind of with uh, sunglasses on, leaning back, and I would just kind of be in. The You're tree. like, well, now this is interesting. Yeah, I'd be climbing the little tree, sort of looking over. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. mind me. <laughs> <laughs> just climbing this tree. We were all young pervs. Yeah. I remember m- my little boner being like smashed up against the tree and me being like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know? There's, so the, there's Not knowing how to describe yeah, it. But there's yeah. literally zero difference between a horny young boy and a raccoon. Yes. It's the same thing. <laughs> just in mean, a tree like, yeah. 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 Ooh. Kind of moves the same <laughs> <Yeah>. way, too. <laughs> There was a fat uh, raccoon hanging out right by my where you walk up to go to my place last yeah. night. Uh, yeah. yeah, he this was just, time of year, maybe pregnant. It was just posted. Oh, yeah, I guess I shouldn't assume it's gender, uh, but it it was posted up right by my little door, like at, it, like it was your at, place at my place, oh, not cool. here. Smoking a cig, like yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah, you're home. For you. yeah. yeah, I was tempted to see you know what would happen. If I, I almost fed a raccoon a piece of cheese one time. I was pretty excited. And then somebody scared it, and I was real mad at them. Have you ever fed a raccoon? I fed a raccoon a Dorito out of my mouth once when I was camping. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what a great camping! That show. is pretty awesome. Yeah, me and my me and my buds were camping like uh, like tw- we're twenty or something. Yeah, like young. And go. I mean, so we're just like sitting in a campsite, and probably like ledges or something, just like drinking beers and throwing beer cans. All over the place, so our yeah, yeah. came around beer cans everywhere, which are shiny and bright for raccoons. So the raccoons yes. start coming around, and clearly they've been around people. So we like kept like trying to get oh, yeah. closer, and so I'm drunk. I'm like, watch this. Put the old Dorito in my mouth, and go down. Took it, and I'm like oh, that's pretty cool. Did it take it with with its mouth or its little hands? Its hands. Well, that's yeah. fun. They have cute little like gloved hands. Yes, they do have very human like little thingies. You ever see the raccoon? I'm sure you guys have, but the, but the trying to wash the cotton candy. In the oh, yes. Yeah, it's so upset. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, <laughs> so fun. Cla- have you a s- classic. <laughs> have you seen that guy? Uh, there's a few different clips with all the hot dogs and those raccoons like come up on his porch like all oh yeah yeah, like, yeah all over yeah him. and there's like a hundred of them and he has this yeah. giant package of hot dogs and he's like look at all these raccoons <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yep but i'm like well you wouldn't have 500 raccoons if you weren't feeding them all yeah like full but full bun length hot it racks. is crazy <laughs> to think that that like what kind of density of raccoons are there where that guy lives that there's that many around i mean it was like 50 raccoons yeah it's, it's a crazy. shitload like what kind of rock raccoon density are we talking in like Des Moines, Iowa? Like I wonder. Yeah. Every once in a while, you know, you time. see them climb down the storm drains. I'm like, oh yeah. That's yeah. A, what a fun way to get around. <laughs> like little cat burglars around the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're fat little bodies. trying to get into the garbage cans and feast. Why do they look so cute? You know, just like bears. I get, I get that grizzly guy where. He, there was, I'm sure, some point where he'd been around enough bears where he was like, they like me, they aren't going to fuck me up. Ever. Yeah. Like, we're like family. That's For sure. I, um, I, yeah, I could imagine f- feeling that way. Or these dudes, or like Siegfried and Roy, you know? Yeah, like, people have like wild animals. love us. <laughs> I, I, I love these fucking tigers. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah. Not, not anymore. <laughs> no, they do until they don't. Yeah. They have to put that tiger down at that point, or do they just take it to like? I don't know. I bet Siegfried and Roy pro- would probably put the. They were very on that. against. Yeah, I yeah. can't okay. remember. That's good. Because it's probably, I mean, not really the tiger's fault. The tiger's I mean, not just, at all. Yeah. The tiger's no. being a tiger. Yeah. You know, the fact that it's been that cool that long is pretty amazing. Yeah. When you think about it. It is. This is kind of back to the raccoons, but. That's fine. It is kind of fucking amazing that <laughs> these little creatures that like steal our garbage look like little bandits. Did we decide to look like bandits because of raccoons? Like, is that a choice? We're really like, mm-hmm. maybe we want to look like raccoons. But like, it's kind of amazing that this the animal that like steals our garbage looks like a little fucking criminal, like a cute little 
Yeah. Kind Criminal of guy. <laughs> yeah, it is a chicken or the egg thing. Yeah. You wonder. I don't know. What a dumb observation. You're welcome, What's guys. the deal with these raccoons? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who had the mask? <laughs> Were the were the raccoons uh, look like burglars first or not? <laughs> That's a pretty good sign. I liked it. Yeah, I've been working. I, w- yeah. I worked on. I w- believe it or not, I did work on my Werner Herzog before tonight. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Werner Herzog, <laughs> the cave. That's perfect. The flute. Yeah. No notes. <laughs> The secret to any great impression is just saying their name while doing it. Yes, yes. My name is Verna Hosog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Game of Forgotten Dreams is pretty sweet. Um, the little flute is cool. I mean, I don't like the way he talks to me, but I'm like, it is cool, Verna. You're right. <laughs> oh, I love the way he talks. That's the way I, I like watching things with him. I find him condescending. At times. It, that's kind of what I like about that's him. That's kind of what's <laughs> happening. Yeah, right. yeah. You like to be yeah, a like little. to be condescended to. <laughs> it's nice. Phil's a little sub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell, Tell wants me leather for daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me how stupid I am, Mister Herzog. <laughs> mm. Ooh, that ass is crazy. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Uh, there goes the German uh, audience. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> See you later. I'll be the same. I'll be the same. Ooh, what, what could you get? Let's See, those are really cool eggs, by the way. I already said that. It's pretty fancy. Oh, same. It's a repeat. Which Fuck. one? Mortal Kombat characters. I was very proud of that. <laughs> All right. What and we another. <laughs> Did you just make? Were there just three? Uh, I think there was four. four okay, ones. let's see what we got. Ooh, ooh. Oh, do an impression of someone else in the room's joke. Ah. Okay, so maybe there was only three. <laughs> My <Jeez>. bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're down to the last eight minutes of, <laughs> of promised time. Um, we're we're gonna bring our A game next time, folks. I hey, promise. man. <laughs> <laughs> Only they had seen or heard the first. We were in high gear. <laughs> oh, we came in then we so had a good. Downshift. I was we in. I was get back on the road. I was like, man, listen to us just talking nonstop. Yeah, we were way to go. We did it again. We were shucking and jiving. I think most people couldn't come sit here and talk. We we've no we, way. We have a long history though of jabbering on podcasts. It's true. It only took us twenty minutes to go straight to penis material. Mm. So pretty good. Did we do? We didn't do. Oh yeah, maybe we. Oh, well, it was some. I mean, I guess Just pussy. a little bit. B- yeah. Blue, blue, the blue stuff that comes out of my penis <laughs> specifically. <laughs> yeah. Wash my hair with it. That's right. <laughs> it smells like bleach. Uh, I, w- I rewatched uh, <laughs> The Ring last night. By the way. Ooh. Uh, funny enough, I'm. Um, Gore Verbinski. Has quietly directed a lot of my favorite movies. He it is kind of amazing. He's directed Pirates of the Caribbean, which is yep. a, a great rewatchable movie. Yep. The Ring, which I saw in theaters, um, scared the shit out of me. Scared in the theaters. shit out of me at the time, and still pretty good. Like a lot of the effects even hold up. Mouse Trap, weirdly. Mouse or Mouse Hunt. Mouse Hunt, sorry, yeah, Mouse yeah. Hunt, which I also always loved yep. with Nathan Lane, uh, Gore Verbinski. Fucking Rango, baby. Rango. Gore One Verbinski. of my favorite movies, yeah. I'm sitting here thinking, man, I, I know the name, but I don't know anything about him because I've never seen any of those dumb fuck movies you guys are talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rango. Cut down. Alex has got the best taste in the world. <laughs> Rango is good. It's fucking amazing. Gore Verbinski directs a good movie. He does. Like I've it. been listening to Toll tell me for years that... Rango is like the best movie ever made. I don't say that. I yes, say it's do. one of my favorite movies. You say it's the best ever made. I don't say that. But I I mean, I I'm, just kinda, love I'm it. just trying to cause drama, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get the fire going. Yeah. On the <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, you know, subjective. I understand that the movies I love aren't everybody's favorite movie. Not everybody's favorite movie is fucking Kong Skull Island. Almost or no Rango. Ones. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you have a new Kong movie to go see. You haven't I seen have it the, yet? The Godzilla ones, uh, when they're together, I'm not that into but it's, it. It's like like the but solo but it's Kong, order. though. I know. But, yeah, I prefer... Uh, You're not going to go see it? Uh, You'll wait? Yeah, I'll probably wait. You'll wait. 
Because I still got to see Dune too. Ooh, and I got you see, should see Dune too. Yeah, oh, I got to see that. And too. I got to see. There's something coming out. I saw um at. So oh, I, I want to see Monkey Man also. That in theaters has got terrible reviews, but I saw the re- I saw the trailer for um the new Planet of the Apes. Wow. Yes. In the theater, I was like, whew. That looks, looks good. Goddamn amazing. Yes. I love those movies. Would that yes, be a sir. part of the most recent iteration yeah. of those? Yes, the but they one? made it they made it uh significantly further in the future of that world so that it doesn't have to be a direct sequel to the last one, which was kind of a masterpiece in my opinion. Yeah. Or How many the, have they done so far before this one that's about to come out? Of this verse three. It was so this three. Will be the third, yeah. third, it was fourth. Rise, Dawn, and War. Okay, this will be the fourth. fourth. And yeah, so this future. will be the fourth, yep. Yeah. Okay. Same director or whatever? No, I think they, it's a... Yeah, it was uh, something that... Because uh, there were two, because Matt Reeves, the guy that did oh, the that's, Batman... Oh, Yeah, yeah. ...did the last two. Um, and I don't know if he did the first. And maybe I'm, I'm mis... I can't remember, remember. Yeah. yeah. It's a different guy, but he's going to do a good job, it looks like. When does the plan the, the new plan of the I think this summer. Out? I think May. Yeah. Pretty soon. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this spring. I'm excited for this summer. Yes. My baby's due the same day as Deadpool Wolverine. What will you do? I know, man. Like, <laughs> sorry, Sarah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta fucking see <laughs> Hugh Jackman. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like kind of a big thing. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. Yeah, well, all right. I'll be back in two hours. Don't worry about <laughs> Wait, it. Just, yeah, don't, don't. Yeah, do you're taking a nap, about. right? <laughs> <laughs> do you think sure, you'll be on the it. other side of the, like, do they let you choose what side of it you want to be on? That little, like, curtain type thing? I like, don't know. You know, curtain is, that's if there's a C section, the curtain is here. Right. On her neck. Okay. So you can sit by her head and be like, okay, baby. And then you can take a gander if you want. They're like, don't do that. You shouldn't. But I'm like, okay. And then you look and you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> For a wow. C-section? Yeah. Or, okay. Mm-hmm. You've seen a C-section? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was a crazy. C-section. Not you were a C-section? I think so. Yeah, I was. Wow. I think I would have I trouble think... seeing that even just in video. Yeah, that's pretty wild. They cut a little escape hatch and they somehow pull it's, a baby out of like... I mean, it's like a serious surgery. I mean, I know, but yeah. it's like like a five-inch cut. They're like, no problem. Wow. And then they yank a baby out of that and then yeah. all of their guts and everything also Have comes out. Have you seen a vaginal one too? No. Oh. oh. It's almost like vaginal's old school now. Kind of is. I know uh, when it a is. friend of ours was having his baby not too long ago... Um, it sounded like they were really trying to push for C-sections. Like they, they seemed yeah, to be there, safer. Yeah, there was so many like time. I mean, when a baby's being born the natural way, it sometimes can get hung up in the birth canal and be problems. They can not get enough oxygen. They can, all sorts of things can happen through no no one's fault. It's just the way like the baby can just get hung up in there. So humans giving birth is a fucked up process. Uh, yeah. So they can so. The thing they like to do is they'll just schedule a C-section. So then they're like, our friend James Doyle and Joan did it today. Yeah. And they'll we, schedule like, okay, we'll see you on uh, Monday at 10 o'clock, and we're going to cut that baby out of you. Yeah, like, okay. there's been Instead no... Instead of just waiting around and, and mm. doing the whole natural thing where there can be... It's just, it's just uh, you know, uh, risk management, basically, for There's been no talk yeah. of that. Yeah. If it, Yes. If there's if, if everything's good to go and fine, if... if, if uh, the woman's had a, a baby before um, the natural way, then that, they'll just keep doing that until there's mm-hmm. some reason not to. But yeah, I think but if there's any reason they're like, mm, maybe we don't want to. The baby's turned in a weird way, or the baby's too big. Or, I know, uh, blah, blah, blah. my niece. Yeah, that my was mom a, had or, me the regular way. Ten pounds. Ten pounds. Ten fucking bills. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I famously came out butt first, which is really. I can't even. Is that breach? With that big bird? old ass. Big juicy ass first. <laughs> wow. Like, get a load of this, people. Hey. They said I came Look at the ass first. on this baby. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it would have been easier for my mom if I came out butt first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's been a little butt. A little no, baby butt. Because I got a little butt. <laughs> yeah, show right. everybody your little butt. Oh, there's a lot of people that have probably never seen it before. Well, that's all. Oh. Stand I mean, up and give us a twirl. Oh, look at my. F- <laughs> like this. <laughs> like that. 
Cut to Toll's butt. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of not there, you know? Yeah. He's got a real long Missing back. Missing action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A really long back. Yeah. He's got a back with an asshole at the bottom <laughs> of it. <laughs> oh. yeah. What a horrible thought. Yeah. What a horrible, hairy yeah. thought. <laughs> It must hurt if you like fall down on your butt. You ever busted your butt hard? I mean, like wooden chairs hurt my butt. You know things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, after no a cushion while, for the pushing. You there's know, there's not a lot of. Yeah. I don't know, and not I try a lot of cheeks to clap back. No, there. I do my prison squats and shit too, and nothing seems to. You know. We should get you a BBL. Yeah, a Brazilian butt lift. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. I feel pretty weird. Start sending that money to Tobel Cop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Venmo it's, it's it's gonna, Tobel We're going to take him to Tijuana get a BBL. Yeah, BBL. For $400. BBL. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> In and out one day. Yeah. yeah maybe I... <laughs> no anesthesia. <laughs> <laughs> it's like saving Silverman. Mm. Where that, that his no, girl I like makes my good ass implants. Yeah, <laughs> my tiny butt makes my dick look huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that checks out. Mm. Yeah, because I just wrap it around. Yeah. I don't fucking know. All right, I hope my mom's watching tonight. Sure, she is. Sure, yeah. sure. She's, she's, it's, uh, she's like, I need to right figure now. out how to get that. I'm like, Mom. Get that on the television. Yeah, <laughs> don't do it. Yeah. My whole family's just watching on the big screen at home. Just got to tweak the uh, bunny ears yep. there, Joe Ellen. <laughs> just got to tweak the bunny I think ears. it's on a UHF yeah. channel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> channel 43. Mm-hmm. No sleep. Oh, gosh darn. Gosh darn, what a podcast. Golly, you all. Gall darn. It, uh, it wouldn't be comedy if uh, unexpected shit you know, didn't happen. I feel like my my sleeves are riding up a lot. Jesus, <laughs> all that working out, man. I don't know. I I don't think it's working out that much. There we go. Oh, look like a Jersey uh, Jersey Shore cast member. You do. You get your spray stunk. tan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you spray paint your orange and give you a BBL. Be on your way this summer. <laughs> <laughs> The summer AJ. Yeah. I'm getting lip fillers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that we're on video, we're all just going to transform. Yeah. Yeah. Just get a bunch of weird plastic surgeries. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to get some veneers. Yeah. Yeah. Big, yeah. beefy white ones. Yeah. Call me, start calling me choppers. <laughs> <laughs> Big something about Mary T. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, I think we've done our court mandated time. Legally speaking, uh, sorry again, folks, for the delay and all that. Shit happens. I'm sorry. You know, now we know so for next time. We're learning, you know? I mean, the, f- the first one was practice. This is the first real one. I'd say, you know, one little, one minor hiccup, 28 minutes late. That's fine. We're doing all right. Yeah. <laughs> Every day is a learning experience. Uh, I hope you all had a good Easter I don't even really know if I'm celebrating these type of things anymore. I feel like just culturally I'll celebrate it, you know? What do you mean? Like, reli- like sometimes I wonder if I should even celebrate these things that have a religious... There is know, no religion involved for me anymore yeah, at all. Yeah, exactly. I'm all about the rabbit and the eggs. I don't give a fuck about Jesus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when did the rabbit even come into play? Is that like a pagan part yeah, of it? Yeah, I think that's part of it. In the spring, yeah. you know, renewal. That's where the eggs come from and all that shit. Because mm. rabbits be fucking in spring, also. Mm. RBF. Rabbits be fucking. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I think there is a fully a pagan thing about the rabbits. About the too. rabbit and the egg. I mean, it's also Christmas is that's it's a winter solstice holiday yeah. based off a pagan holiday, and we're just yeah. like, let's toss Jesus in there. Who fucking cares? Yeah. Christians, I guess. I guess. <laughs> yeah. We've been remixing shit for a while. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Keep Jesus out of Christmas and Easter. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't right. ruin it for the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to have fun. Mm. Yeah. Yep. I just like to put on the you know the little Easter bunny outfit and. Hang Eat a bunch of ham. Yeah. 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 Next time we're we're keeping the bunny ears and losing the pants. Yeah. Finally. Yeah, I'm going to put little bunny tails on. Yep. <laughs> Up our ass. I'll just put it one right on my butthole. We'll get those like glow in the dark <laughs> butt plug type things. You seen those? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Where they're like flash and stuff. Ooh. We'll have those. I have. I'm getting some direct ad. I've had. I have been getting some like, hey, you should get. You should order a Timu butt plug. And I'm like. Timu. <laughs> 
Come on now. That's the last thing told yeah, me. Yeah, I'm like, I don't need this. That'll keep you awake on the drive. Yeah. <laughs> you might have a point there. Move over. Keep five myself hour alert. Energy. <laughs> <laughs> no, just give us the remote control for it. Yeah. You'll be at work. Be oh, like, I'm getting an electronic. Like, guys, I, guys, I got yeah. three. I gotta be awake for the next three hours. I'm like, no problem. We'll just keep zapping <laughs> yeah. your asshole. We're gonna make. We're gonna milk your prostate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought we were doing that after this podcast. Yeah. Anyway, no, well, that's yeah. different. That's what the eggs right. were for. <laughs> we're gonna make oh. toe lay some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, that's as good a spot to end as any, folks. Shirt's riding up again. Jesus Christ. I wanted to wear the shirt, but then I realized uh, it might be a little too small on me, you know? Oh. I like I'm a busting. small shirt. Yeah, that's true. I like an extra medium shirt. I wear mine when I was in New York, hoping that I would walk, find Beetlejuice, but I never did. I would oh, be, Alex, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I don't know <laughs> what. <laughs> I'd be scared to meet Beetlejuice in person. He would just hate me. He would hate. He hates everyone. Yeah. So he'd just tell you to fuck off, probably. Yeah. I'm like, fair <laughs> enough. Thanks. Okay, Pete. I got a question. Not. But I know we're about to end the podcast. Yeah. That calligraphy thing. Closing remarks. <laughs> that wasn't real, right? Calligraphy thing. The Beetlejuice calligraphy thing. Oh, I think it was his handwriting. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, his beautiful handwriting. Yes. It's like an 1865 like. Land deed. This is the yeah. same guy Handwriting. that you say, give us a number between one and five, and he goes, 37. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he has and perfect, pe- beautiful yeah. calligraphy <laughs> handwriting. Like that. Looks like he wrote with a feather. Like it was a style. quill, yeah. yeah. It's very, I don't know. Like I was beautiful like, fountain pen calligraphy. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll, end up, we'll leave it on that mystery. I yeah. It, I guess. Yeah. Is it real? I think it is. It didn't look it fake. It looked real. Yeah. I, I believe it beautiful was. Beautiful handwriting. He has to be good at something, you know? Yeah. I, I, I've known lots not. of dumb people with beautiful handwriting. So today, a dude wrote me a check on his like leg with his che- for work, you know. Uh-huh. And I was like, "Damn, that dude is writing a check with like the best handwriting I've ever seen on his fucking thigh." It's kind of a turn on the handwriting. I like cool. I, I like not even necessarily good, but cool handwriting. I'm always like. Yeah. Nice. My sister has very cool handwriting. Well, it's like a fingerprint of yours, too. Yeah. Mine they, they'll use it to mess. solve crimes. Yeah, my handwriting has devolved into a, just a mess of <laughs> half cursive, half block letters and all the, over and the place. And those little S's you would make That's in school. That's how most people write. <laughs> yeah. No. Right. Yeah. Well, AJ has very nice handwriting. I just noticed that to reading these. Uh, I know. It's, very, it's kind of, uh, I would have guessed a girl wrote this. <laughs> Fuck Mary Kill AJ's handwriting. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Th- I remember. You have nice handwriting. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, mine. I could never write that well anymore. It's uh, it's over for me. I was liked when a teacher, like a hot lady teacher, would have nice handwriting. I'd be like, ooh, yeah, uh, she gets it. Yeah, <laughs> girls. She's dotting. gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but she's yeah, getting it. Yeah, I'm in yeah. fifth grade, and <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling horny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I have a boner during dodgeball in <laughs> PE today. Physical <laughs> erection. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> all right. All right, winner. This has been a very good Easter episode. <laughs> Thank you all again, and sorry all again. I wor- we're going to... Write the ship for the Hey, we're one. fine, all right? We're just getting going in this new sort of technology platform. We're That's doing right. our best. Um, Venmo at Tobocop, Black Cat Ice Cream, Teehees Comedy Club, teeheescomedy.com. Black Cat's got a website, too. Um, it's true. I don't have a website. You did. I did. That is true. <laughs> that is true. I could probably reactivate it. Who knows? Was it just tolmagrain.com? It was, yeah. Tolmagrain.com. And there was one video of me. Nobody buy that (laughs) domain, please. Yeah. (laughs) I think I still, I I think my friend still owns it. You still got the Uh, property rights on that? I should have kept up with it. (laughs) All the demands, Uh, you know? Oh, yeah. Shout out Shyla, our uh, live switcher. Producer. Producer. Extraordinaire. Producer. Um, Bing bong, bing bong. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, patreon.com slash no sleep DSM. Uh, I am going to add some new stuff to it, update it a bit, make sure. I think I've done right by all the Patreon subscribers as far as I know. I've sent stickers and shirts and things like that. Nice. 
I've tried to be loyal to it. That's pretty good. Loyal dude. to the game. Uh, I think that's about it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what podcasting is? Yeah. <laughs> this has All been right. No Sleep yeah. Podcast. Yeah, yeah. I've been AJ Simmons, your inept director slash producer. <laughs> Not inept. Look at all this. Look at what you've done, AJ. Yes. Uh, I've been uh, told. Do I? I don't. I, I'm, told panic, McGrain. Panic. Told uh, McGrain, yeah. That's the Told cried to Beyonce and McGrain. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And I've been the ice cream king of Des Moines. Hate score Verbinski. Alex Carter. <laughs> Hate score Verbinski. <laughs> All right. Stay awake, everybody. Goodbye.